I feel like it's a big opportunity for everybody, you know, coming to a new season with a new uh, new guys in the backfield. So I feel like it's a good opportunity for everybody. We're just trying, looking forward to it. Felt good. Um, I felt I felt more comfortable. I know the defense a, little, a lot more. It was in the playbook the offseason, so I felt a lot more comfortable. What last year, TJ? You know, so you were playing a lot of special teams. You didn't know as much about defense. What did you learn? I learned a lot. I learned a lot about special teams. Learned a lot about the league, just in general, the business side of it, the taking care of your body side. I learned how long the season is. You know, in college, the season not that long. So I learned a lot of things. Learned a lot of things from those uh, three Hall of Famers in our room. So it was a good year. How much more? I feel a lot more prepared because I, I know the defense a lot now. Last year, was I was learning it like day by day, and I came into whenever we came back, I already knew the whole defense. I knew a lot wasn't going to change, just talking to the vets and stuff like that with, uh, with Coach Norton coming, so I feel comfortable. When you know that defense, what does that allow you to do? Say that again? When you know the defense, oh. you don't have to worry about it. What does that allow you to do? It just allows you to play faster. That's the big thing. You're not out there thinking about nothing. Now you, could, now you know what you're doing. Now you can start breaking down the offense and the tendencies and stuff like that, so it just allows you to play faster. Yeah, I, uh, I take care of my body more. Last year, I didn't you know necessarily. I wouldn't say I didn't take care of my body, but I didn't know how how key that was, especially early in the season. You know, you always gonna be banged up during training camp because it's long. But you gotta stay in the ice tub, stay going to treatment and stuff like that. Your body be all right. He was saying on the radio this morning that he's been challenging you and reminding you to go for it. And mm -hmm. uh, I think you're just saying to not be out there just thinking, just to have fun and just like like you said, self explanatory, like go for it. Like just try to have fun and don't be scared to mess up. I think that was the biggest thing. Like don't be afraid to mess up. Just go out there and have fun. Is part of it kind of seeing what you can do and seeing a place that you can make versus making I think that's what he was saying. Um I think he was saying just trust myself. Don't like I said, don't worry about messing up. Like if I see something, just trust myself and trust that the teammates gonna go have my back and just go out there and play. Nah, I don't even think about it. Anytime I think about it, well, first off, I'm always praying for E. E, like a, like I said before, like E, like a, a real positive dude to me. He like a, like a big brother to me. So I'm always praying for E, hope the best for him. But I don't really think about it unless somebody asks me about it. Do you, does he still keep in contact with you? During yeah, I talked to him probably what, like a week ago or something like that. But just, just checking in on each other, just stuff like that. He talks about your playmaking ability, the pass breakouts, interceptions. And that goes back to college, obviously. Is that something that's more hey, instinctual? Does that come from? I think it's everything. I think the more, like he just asked me, the more you know your playbook and you know where your help at and you know, you know what I'm saying, where, where your help's not at, you know what leverage to play and stuff like that. You start watching and breaking down the offense so you're able to, to make sort of certain plays. How is sort of the chemistry between you and Bradley? Oh, it's good. Man, B-Mac. Uh, B-Mac was somebody last year, like d Shed, like a lot of the vets that was kind of bringing me along, kind of like like showing me different different ropes and stuff like that. I was at B-Mac house a couple of days ago, so me and B-Mac, just like all the DBs, we got a good relationship going. Yeah, have you seen him kind of take on a bigger leadership role with the role out here at camp on that? Yeah, you seen him once we first got back. He was he was vocal last year, but he way more vocal this year. Um, he's talking to all the DBs, and he's setting a good example. You know, he never late to a meeting. He always one of the first ones in there. He's setting a good example for everybody. Um, I think we just need to show that we know, know what we're doing. I think that's the big thing. Go out there and not make nothing up. Just go out there and, and do what they're coaching us to do. Uh, study what they what they giving us to study. I feel like we'll be all right. Being a Rose teammate for a year, what most impressed you about his game? Uh, it's a lot, man. ET a different player. I, th I say, I used to sit right next, right next to ET and Means, and the way he used to take notes, and he used to always try to not have wasted movements. Like He used to always try to play under himself and have perfect breaks and stuff like that. So I learned a lot from him. Did uh, Cam say anything to you yesterday? Yeah, yeah, we talked. Yeah, we talked. It was just, I ain't seen Cam in a minute, so it was just like some mutual stuff and practice was going on. So, yeah, we talked a little bit. What's been the difference with Coach Norton taking over? The defense stayed the same a lot. I think he just brought like a lot more energy. That's the, that's the biggest thing. He brought a lot more energy back to the team. And, um, and Wags was telling me how he was before, before he left. So, I think it's the biggest thing, just a lot of energy now. Anything else, guys? Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Thank you, man. Thank you.